Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm the designer and architect of the Maximo BI tools. This is a series of recordings on the analytic capabilities you can receive when combining Maximo and Cognos. The series of recordings specifically focuses on the Cognos metadata and how we can capitalize on Maximo's integration framework to quickly create the Cognos metadata which will significantly reduce your administration and maintenance time. In our first series, we created a report object structure in Maximo's integration framework. In series two, we took a closer look at the Max relationships, which join the objects together in the business rules. In series three, we took that report object structure and we published it to Cognos. And I also quickly showed how you can create a report utilizing that published metadata. In this part, I'm going to take a closer look at the report object structure and how you can access it within the Cognos FM or Framework Management tool. So to do that, to recap, this is a diagram of our process within Maximo in the integration object structure application, we created a report object structure, a very simple hierarchy of asset work order and companies. Then we took this and via the publish action, we transposed that report object structure to become a Cognos metadata package. That metadata package is stored within the Cognos content store and then your business user or report developer can begin creating reports. Well, let's look at the use case that maybe you've published this report object structure to Cognos, but you want to either verify it in Cognos before you begin creating that report, or maybe you want to make some additional modifications. Well, we can do that by first understanding and reviewing our endpoint values. Our endpoint values are part of Maximo's integration framework. And if we pull up the Cognos endpoint value, specifically look at your project-based directory. That's a very important location which specifies exactly where the Cognos packages are available to you, specifically the Cognos CPF file. Well, let's switch over here to Maximo. And again, let's utilize in Maximo 7.6 our favorite applications or my recent applications and I'll come to the endpoint application. This is also available from the integration action menu. So here I am, this is my Cognos endpoint information. I needed to do this during the integration install process. And what is this telling me? Let's look at this project-based directory. It's saying when I go and publish my report object structure, if I need to access it in Cognos, it's gonna be available in this location. Well, let me switch over, and now I'm going to show you that server where this is located. And if I open this up a little more, here's my C location, Cognos Maximo Publish. Again, if I switch back, whoops, I didn't want to do that. If I switch back to my um, endpoint value, it tells me exactly where it's published, which is right here. And if I scroll down or navigate down to my asset demo that I just published, I'll find that CPF file. Well, why is that important to me? Well, let's go to Cognos Framework Manager and I'll show you that. So I want to open a project and again, I'm going to, you know, I had already navigated down to this location, but here's my Maximo Publish folder. Oops. And I want that asset demo and here's that CPF file and let's open it up in Framework Manager. So again, this would be the tool that you would manually do this process if you didn't utilize Maximo's integration framework. Well, let's take a look and see what we have going here. I have two major views, my data source view and my business logic view. Well, let's click on the data source view and there's a couple of things that we can do. We can see the different objects that we have, asset companies, measurement, work order. And again, if I go back over here, let's validate that in my, um, excuse me, object structure application, what I'm looking at. So you can see the one-to-one -one match between Maximo and Cognos. Here's the different objects that I had, asset work orders, company measurement point. And let me navigate back here. 
uh, asset companies, measurement point, work order. I can look at these in two different views, a data source view or the business logic view. I always kind of like to look at the diagram. It, I'm, I guess I'm more of a visual person, but again, it depends what you may want to look at. And here's again, here's all the three or the four objects, excuse me, asset, work order, and companies that we have. And I can see how they're joined together. I can look at any one of the different objects. I could maybe even do a test of them. Maybe I need to validate that you know what I have joined in here is actually coming into the database correctly. So I'll just do a quick test and I can see, yep, here's all my fields coming back. But again, let's imagine that, you know, maybe I needed to do a modification. As I had mentioned in series two, maybe the relationship that I originally brought over wasn't correct, or maybe I, I need to make a modification here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, um, let's just get rid of a, an object in this case. Let me just delete, where is it? I want to edit, and I'm going to delete my measurement point object, and I'm simply going to go edit, delete, and once I deleted him there, I have to do the same thing over here, and I want to edit my measurement point. It just says that it's going to be uh, impacted. Let me quick read that message. Yep, that makes sense. So what have I done? I've simplified my object structure or my package here. Again, now I just have the three objects. But for Cognos to know about that or my Cognos BI server where my people are creating their reports, I need to republish this package. And maybe I don't want to overwrite the existing package that I have. Maybe I want to create a new package of this streamlined um, hierarchy of objects. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create a package. And I'm just going to call it Asset Demo Simple. And I'm going to click Next. I want to include all that, so I'll click Next. Now this is asking me what kind of database I'm using. In my case, I'm using an Oracle database. So let me move it over there and click Finish. I've successfully created it. So now do I want to publish it? So again, publishing, bring it over to Cognos uh, so my users can start working from it. I want to say yes, but look carefully. Make sure you select the right folder location. It's going to go out and query my database. I actually don't want to put it under the publish. I want to put it under, oh, why not? I'm going to put it under Maximo Publish. That's better, where my other asset one is. Uh, I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click Next. No security detected. I'm just going to um, quickly look at the messages as I go through the, the Publish Wizard. And then I'm all set, and I want to exit. Well, let's see what we've done over here. Let me go click Cancel out of here. Let me show another way that you can access Cognos. We have a new point or a new access point right from the analytics menu. And I'm going to select that. Click under my at Maximo Publish folder. And now notice I have two packages, my very simple, or excuse me, my original one, and then the simple one that I've just created. Again, I can launch the Workspace Advanced tool to see what this looks like. And now what I'm expecting to see is a simplified report object structure. You know, again, you could go the other way. You could be adding more objects or modifying those relationships. And now I should just see those three objects that I had, asset, companies, and work order. So again, what I've done here in this example is we were originally in Maximo. I showed the endpoint value, let's see, endpoint, Cognos, really important um, information here. So we know where we're publishing these in my directory. So then when I'm on my Cognos server, I can access that CPF file, which is right over here in my Maximo Publish directory. That CPF file is what you need to open up in Cognos Framework Manager. I originally had those four objects. I made a modification here in Framework Manager, 
and then I just created a new package and published it over to Cognos. So that's what we've done in this demo and in the next demo what we're going to do is we're going to explore the new security views that we've added to each one of the objects when we publish from Maximo to Cognos. So thank you very much for your time. Oops. I think I need to